monkeypox is not the type of thing that you see every day. Or even every year for that matter. It's a very rare viral infection that can spread from person to person via close contact and could result in severe illness, even death. That's why someone recently being diagnosed with monkeypox in England has prompted the UK Health Security Agency, UCSA, to issue an announcement on Saturday. And the UCSA tends to reserve such announcements for significant news that the general public needs to know rather than things like, person has pimple, can't go to prom. So before you try to use, sorry I have monkeypox, as an excuse to get out of work or a date, keep in mind that others may tea. The infected person is indeed currently under isolation and receiving treatment at the Expert Infectious Disease Unit at the Guys and St. Thomas National Health Services, NHS, Foundation Trust in London, England. The UCSA didn't release any details about the person's sex or age but presumably the person is human. The UCSA is also working with the NHS to identify anyone who has been in close contact with the infected patient. This includes people who were on the airplane with the person when that individual returned to the UK from Nigeria recently. In this case, close contact doesn't mean simply exchanging heartfelt texts with many emojis. Rather, it means close physical contact within a few feet as the virus can travel via large respiratory droplets emitted by a person coughing or sneezing. Close contact would also be direct touching an infected person's body fluids or lesions or objects that an infected person have been contaminated with the virus such as that person's linens, underwear, shirts, velour track suits, and other clothing. The virus can enter your body via your respiratory tract, mucous membranes such as your eyes, nose, or mouth, or breaks in your skin, including non-visible ones. Most likely, the person caught the monkeypox virus in Nigeria since cases are quite rare outside of certain central and western countries in Africa, as I reported last November for Forbes, 